Hey guys, it's Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives. So I uh, thought we'd uh, have a look through uh, the solar panel we've got sitting here today. We've got one of the kick-ass uh, solar panels sitting here. It's their 250 watt uh, solar panel and uh, one thing that I really like about it is it folds up really nice and small. They uh, can actually come with a carry bag here um, and uh, the bag's really thin and so it makes it really lightweight uh, to take with you. So uh, great, you know, if you haven't got a lot of space and you want uh, some solar panels to use, uh, they seem to be like a really good option. We've actually got this plugged in at the moment and we've been uh, just topping up the battery just to see how it goes. It was quite interesting, we plugged it in, went up to about 13 amps uh, and then she dropped down, she's starting to trickle charge, starting to drop the voltage down uh, on us there as well. So, um, so yeah, we'll show you a little bit about the panel as well. Um, some things I should point out to you, some things that come with it. So we've got here a 20 amp uh, solar regulator uh, that you can use with it as well. And uh, in our situation, we actually have a charge controller in our, in our trailer, so we don't actually utilize that. So uh, you can use that if you need to. So if you don't have a charge controller, and you want to charge your batteries up, they come with that. So it's, it's right to, to um, go straight onto your batteries. Uh, they also obviously come with some pegs to peg it down, because I mean, if it's a windy conditions, it can blow away. <laughs> Your strap, the strap's obviously for your carry bag. Uh, we haven't used a strap, but uh, you can use that as well. And uh, they've got one of these set of alligator clips. So what we've actually got in our situation is we've got a cable running from the back of the solar panel and it plugs straight in via an Anderson plug into the camper trailer. And uh, so we do it that way. Uh, and uh, a good thing to, to get also is uh, one of the kick-ass meters. Uh, they're a real good little product. Uh, look, so we actually used that in our review of our fridge uh, the other day, just to see how much current was actually being drawn. And uh, so they come, you can, I don't know, you have to double check. They may come with it, they may not. It just depends on the packages I think you purchase on uh, the Kick-Ass site. So uh, this is from Australian Direct, guys. So go and have a look at that. You might find that quite useful as well. Um, and I have a little bag here comes with it as well and uh, I believe because I we don't use it in our situation but I'm pretty sure your uh, charge controller is designed to, to fit into that bag and that's designed to fit onto the back of the um, uh, the back of the solar panels which we'll show you as well so how does this all work so you fold the solar panels out and we'll show you that so these these are uh, solar panels guys they all fold over so and they have these legs and these legs actually just pop out and uh, you actually store those away and uh, this just pops straight back in here like so and uh, down the bottom down here is some velcro this velcro is open and uh, generally what you do is you plug your, your solar charge controller in and you do it that, that way there guys and uh, so then you just pull it back over and uh, get the cable out of the way and uh, then that then goes in, into the back of the, uh, the camper trailer so we'll show you that as well Okay guys, so if we look up here in the uh, back of our trailer, you'll see up over there on the meter, just over here, might be a little bit difficult to see, um, but that says 13.3 volts and uh, 0.8 amps is going in, and the reason that's going in is because up on top up here, we actually have our solar panel sitting up there, which is charging as well, but, uh, and we also have another one over here on the side, but this one's probably not getting much sunlight, so it's probably not putting much charge in at all. So what we can do is we take our uh, Anderson plug and on the side of the camper trailer here we've actually got a little place that we can plug things into just down there. So I'm just trying to do this with two hands, one hand guys. So just give us a moment, we can see if we can get this in properly. Cool, that's plugged in. Now next thing we want to look at, well watch that meter. And in a moment or two it should start to climb for us. So let's see if we can zoom in on that meter. It takes a moment, guys, for it to realise that the solar panel's hooked up, and uh, then you'll suddenly see it start to climb. So here we go, on our way up. So when we plugged this in initially, uh, she went up to, I think it was around about 12 amps, roughly, uh, which is quite interesting. We didn't, I didn't actually expect it to go up that high that quickly. I'm trying to get this in shot for you guys so you can see clearly. Uh, but uh, yeah, there she is, she's going up to 7.8 amps, is going into it, 14 volts, uh, eight amps there. And uh, I think what we'll probably find now is it'll start to drop down because it's pretty much charged at the moment. There's not a lot extra to go into it. So um, essentially we just used it last night for, for lighting and a little bit of music and that was about it. Um, 
So guys, that's the uh, kick-ass solar panels. Um, you've got a lovely bag there comes with them and uh, you've got your fold-out panels sitting here as well. So uh, yeah, look, um, they are a little bit dearer, I do admit that, um, but I also think they're really good quality. Uh, we've been using these for a while now and um, the quality of the panels is excellent. Um, they fold up really small and lightweight, so if you haven't got a lot of space, for 250 watts of solar panel, um, that's a really good way to, to, to go, guys. So, uh, you know, if you if you want the other option for you is to get some of the more bulky solar panels, and you can do that as well. Uh, just you might not have as much space, and that's pretty much it. So, you know, toss up between do you spend the extra money and get something like this that's small and lightweight, or do you decide, you know, maybe you want to get the, the chunkier solar panels and just uh, sacrifice a little bit on the, the cost that you're spending um, and do it that way, perhaps. Might be another idea for you. Alright guys, hope that's been of use to you and uh, we'll catch you next episode.